The deadline to file GST annual returns is fast approaching, but are you ready? As per the current update, the due date to file GSTR 9 for FY 2020-21 is 31st December 2021, which may or may not be extended. But don't worry if you aren't ready. In this video, I will be discussing things you have to do before filing GST annual returns for 2020-21. You can ensure filing error-free annual returns with this ready checklist and do watch the video till the end to learn some important tips for FY 2020-21 filing. Hello everyone, I'm Anupurna from Team Clear, India's largest tax and financial services platform. We serve more than 80,000 tax experts, 2,000 plus large enterprises and 4 lakh plus growing businesses. Welcome back to our channel and if you happen to be new here, I have some exciting announcement for new subscribers. We have a free gift for you. It's a GST compliance calendar that will help you stay 100% GST compliant without any stress. To claim it, subscribe to our channel and let us know in the form provided in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. Recently, the GSTR 9 requirement has been relaxed for small taxpayers. Now, if you are aware of who must file GSTR 9, then feel free to skip this section. For the financial year 2020-21 and all the upcoming years, Taxpayers must mandatorily file GST annual returns if their total turnover during the year crosses rupees 2 crore, except for 1. Those paying TDS and TCS under GST, 2. Input service distributors, 3. Casual taxable persons, 4. Non resident taxable persons, 5. Composition taxpayers, and 6. Government departments and authorities. If you happen to be liable to file GST R9, then let's check out the checklist. First in the checklist is to be ready with the list of tax invoices issued during FY 2020-21 for both taxable and exempt supplies. You have to segregate the list of invoices both B2B and B2C for every GSTIN and make sure that the turnover mentioned in the audited financial statements matches with the total of sales mentioned in the tax invoices accounted by you. Take a note of the advances received during FY 2020-21 and subsequently adjusted. Most importantly, don't forget to reconcile them with your books of accounts. Conduct an annual reconciliation of GSTR 1 versus Sales Register versus GSTR 3. Clear GST software helps you with this functionality to avoid any errors and stress due to manual efforts. Secondly, all return goods to your suppliers or received goods from your vendors, that is the list of credit and debit notes issued in FY 2020-21 as accounted in your books, should match with GSTR 1 and GSTR 3. In GSTR 9, you have the option to declare sales value, net of CDNs, especially tables 4 and 5 of the GSTR 9. Reconciliation of your invoices and e-vapil data with the invoices issued and accounted as well as reported in GSTR 1 during FY 2020-21 is required and this should match at GSTIN level. Next, in case you have different branches or units all over India, then you should make a list of inter-branch movements or stock transfers that happened during the financial year 2020-21 and reconcile it with the data declared in your GST returns. Moving on, remember to get ready with the list of HSN 1's outward and inward supplies. However, it is optional for reporting in GSTR 9 for FY 2020-21. But don't worry, if you are using clear GST software for filing GSTR 9, our software will extract the HSN codes automatically from your imported sales and purchase data to help you with this reporting requirement. Before I move ahead with the checklist, please let me know if you have any queries in the comment section below about the 5 points on the checklist I just mentioned. Next important task pertains to all the amendment entries relating to FY 2020-21 that was reported in the periodic GST returns of FY 2021-22 up to September 2021. These should be listed for the purpose of reporting in tables 10 and 11 of the GST annual returns. If you happen to miss the reporting when GSTR 1 of September 2021, then you may end up paying it in DRC 03 by filing GSTR 9 in cash only. This can be very tedious job if you are doing it manually. 
once again you don't have to worry clear gst software will automatically segregate and report the amended transactions in your gst annual return form coming to the inverse supply keep ready the list of all your purchases and input service bills and itc claim during fy 2020-21 including up to september 2021 in fy 2021-22 Tables 12 and 13 are optional whereas tables 6, 7 and 8 must be duly filled as applicable. It may be necessary for you to reconcile the data between the books of accounts versus GSTR 2A versus GSTR 3B to make sure that all the ITC of FY 2020-21 claimed is relevant to that financial year and declared in GSTR 3B of September 2021. Note that if you missed paying taxes on a reverse charge basis for any liable purchases during FY 2020-21 or claimed any excess ineligible ITC, then make sure to pay while filing GSTR 3B of September 2021. Or else you may end up paying in form DRC 03 while filing GSTR 9, that too in cash only. Remember that you are not allowed to claim any additional ITC or reverse any ITC claimed in GSTR 9. Check and report reversals of ITC earlier claimed in Table 7 either separately or as a consolidated figure. It could be on account of exempt supplies or used for personal purpose or sale of used capital goods or goods lost or destroyed or given as a free sample etc. as per some CGST rules 37, 42 and 43. Next, get ready with all the details of ITC claim under different heads like ITC on input, ITC on input services and ITC on capital goods. This bifurcation is again optional for FY 2020-21 in table 6 of GSTR 9. Next, take some note of miscellaneous reporting as well. First, tax demands from department, second, GST refunds applied and processed, third, supplies from composition taxpayers fourth deemed supply by job workers five goods sent on approval basis and lastly six late fees interest and penalties due and paid now next if your turnover for the fy 2020-21 was more than rupees 5 crore then make sure that you also prepare the self certified reconciliation statement in form gstr 9c to be signed by the taxpayers themselves from FY 2020-21 onwards hence the reconciliations are mentioned between gst returns and books will all the more be important and crucial to avoid potential notices and suspension of gst registration for major differences i guess that's all in the checklist now coming to the much awaited section of this video You may need to report few tables of GSTR 9 as per the GST return data or books whichever is most accurate. GSTR 9 once filed cannot be revised. Also, if the GST registration was cancelled sometime during FY 2020-21, you have to still file GSTR 9 for the same year. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry. Let me give you a piece of advice here. I suggest that you keep all the required details handy and not wait until the last day to file your GST annual returns. A thumb rule to follow is to be ready with all the audited financial reports for every registration or GST item under the PAN. This will help you reconcile the audited figures, books of accounts, and the GST data. Clear GST software provides a complete solution for GSTR 9 and GSTR 9C filing with the auto fill, full year reconciliation and many more. Check out the details of the features mentioned in the description below. Visit the link gst.cleartax.in to explore the GSTR 9 and GSTR 9C filing now. Please like if the video was helpful to you. Also share it with your team, friends and fellow professionals who can benefit from this. Don't forget to subscribe and fill the form to win your gift. Thank you.